All right, Frenzy, we just had a nice, fun talk about Jason Lives on the podcast, and uh, I thought it would be fun to kind of talk about our favorite looks of Jason Voorhees. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of spitfire my top five, and you can respond in kind. Number five, and this is just as of right now, uh, number five, my favorite look of Jason is from the original. Now, it's not in the in the flashback scene where he's drowning or when you've seen that picture of him standing next to Tom Savini, you know, just in the makeup. I'm talking about when he fucking jumps out of the lake and grabs Alice, when he's red and covered in shit and moss and stuff like that. Truly terrifying and disgusting. Number four, I picked, I picked from part two. I am a sucker for a killer hillbilly. I love him in overalls. I love the the pillowcase or whatever it is look don't really give a shit how he looks outside of the pillowcase but i love seeing a crazy hillbilly with a pitchfork running around in overalls and you know covering up his face number three i picked pretty much everyone's favorite not mine but pretty much everyone's favorite part seven new blood he's all decomposed the exposed you know spine in the back the teeth that we see you know the kneecaps all the good stuff from john called beekler and then he has probably one of the best non-mask looks. You know what I mean? When the, the mask comes off his face. Um, number two, if you see the shirt I'm wearing here, I love Uber Jason from part from Jason X. As Say what you will about that film. When Jason is, air quotes, upgraded, he looks fucking cool when he's part <laughs> Terminator. I have a lot of fun. He's like the super the shredder. Goes. Exactly. He is the super shredder from Camp Crystal Lake. Part one, you'd be completely stupid if you didn't think I was going to pick the look from Jason Goes to Hell because, <laughs> mainly because I love what fans are calling the meatball look because of the bumps and everything on the head. I love the fact that the mask is now part of his skull and his skin is kind of encompassing it. Plus, I like, yeah. Again, he's wearing flannel. He's chasing people through the woods. So he looks like a hillbilly and tufts of hair and stuff. Yeah. So that's it. Oh, that wasn't too shocking at all, really. Except for the really? the part one, Jason. I wasn't expecting that. I tried to adhere to uh, more of a, a structure with this list in my mind. Usually I don't take it that seriously. I'm not really taking it that seriously now. But in my mind, right. it's like with this list, I was thinking, you know, Jason's kind of Jason with the hockey mask mm -hmm. as a kind of a hulking monster. So I try to keep it in there. There's only four Jasons with an actual hockey mask that I like. So okay. this is really my top four. But um, number five for me is the hooded Jason in um, Potato Sack Jason, whatever, from part two. Okay. Because uh, yeah. he's not quite Jason yet. So this is like, to me, this is like the honorable mention. Then we got the top four. Okay. Um, even if it... If it, if it had nothing to do with the series, if it was just called something else, mm -hmm. I think most people would agree it's absolutely phenomenal. Like, and mm -hmm. he's super terrifying in that movie. Yes. Just, it doesn't have to be Jason, just Hillbilly. I don't mind him with a mask off. Like, that stuff doesn't, it, it kind of uh, scared me a little bit as a kid. Like, the face, yeah. but not as much as part three. Like, part three, when he takes that mask off, looking through the window, like, I, you know, I love Seven. But it's not scary, right? Because it's kind of—it's just a fucking cool-looking monster mask, uh, prosthetic and stuff. In three, yeah. it's like that kind of looks like looks like some mongoloid person that could would actually fucking kill me if he had the chance. Right. Uh, yeah. I shouldn't say that. Is that not PC? But yeah, have we ever been PC? No. No, but please, you know, forgive me, people. So my <laughs> top four—that get that one out the way. Top four is okay. just hardcore jason with them actual jasons with a mask hockey mask okay and for me part four is part four ted white it, it might be the the epitome of jason Voorhees, and it's definitely not mm -hmm. six okay because this is the movie we just talked about six is really silly like mm -hmm. in, in a bad way for me it's like he's not mm -hmm. six is not even on my list like so people's favorite film but really if you think about the jason he's kind of lame i don't like the fucking rambo utility belt and the gardening gloves it's ludicrous <laughs> the one thing it, you know love it or hate it you, you have to admit it's not scary so, right so that's a big deal ted white's definitely scary but i give the advantage to it'll come up later so these are out of order not out of order but i can't tell you what i think till we get to part two which is part okay. three but right now we're on number three <laughs> part three is part seven okay uh, obviously I can't he's too much of a monster 
-hmm. like and not a like a i know jason's a monster or whatever but it's just kind of some of the scariness is it 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 dissolves a little bit of the scariness when it's a literal monster and there's no chance that it's a person because his literal he's he's got a monster face and his spines hanging out and stuff yeah but the cool factor it's off the charts Right. Might be the number one cool, but he just doesn't scare me the way number one scares me. So, long story short, okay. number three, with a bullet, Kane Hodder. Number two is part three. Okay. Now, most people, okay. I think, will gravitate towards Ted White on this one, but I think in every regard, Richard Brooker is better. Uh, his performance, the way that he struts around, he has this physicality that's really creepy mm-hmm. to me. And mm-hmm. it's even it even comes across with their, they have a similar look. We're talking about the looks. Mm-hmm. I Correct. I like Brooker's look more because it's a little more stylish. Like it's still army fatigues, but if you really pay mm-hmm. attention, it's like there's just this dash of style that kind of is off putting to me. Like because this is okay. Jason Voorhees, mm-hmm. Ted White's very military, very sh- just shitty military yeah. fatigues. But the Brooker one is off-putting because it's kind of nice. Like, he's got, like, this popping collar with his neck <laughs> exposed. And his pants yeah. are, like, his pants are kind of, like, I'd, I'd wear something like that. Yeah. Yeah, his pants are pressed. So, <laughs> I, I all of that, but the bottom line is, he's, it scares me. Number one, your favorite. Number one, right it's not even close to my favorite Friday the 13th. But the number one Jason, for me, is... Jason takes Manhattan. Likewise. Kane Hodder. Oh, really? I know people are going to disagree with me on this, but oh, okay. it comes down to what actually scares me. Okay. And I'm not even, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of uh, Takes Manhattan. Correct. Uh, you know, it's still one of my babies. I love it and everything, but it's like, I got major problems with it. But what I don't have problems with is the look. It's mm-hmm. less monstrous than Seven. They kind of fine tuned mm-hmm. it, get rid of the spine stuff, monster face stuff. And out of the ele- out of its element, like if you took the Manhattan suit, just looking at it in a vacuum, mm-hmm. not that scary, really. But what right. holds up is in its element, okay, in the film, it's fucking scary. It's actually horrifying. The it's it, the wetness with the yellow. It really popped, especially when they're on the ship. I, when they're on I the do ship, I do like the yellow. I do like the yellow mask a lot. I know, but when you think about it, if you look at Google, if you look at an image offline or something, you're like, oh, it's too yellow or what? Like, that's not what it looks like in the movie, okay? When I still think it's the scariest, like, to me, we're not, I'm not, this is not 100%, like, what's the most interesting. In my mind, this was what's scariest. So it's a combination, Uh it's a little bit of both. But for me, personally, Jason from 8 still scares me. I can still mm-hmm. think of scenes from that movie, like especially when he's go when he breaks into the disco. Mm-hmm. That that's not funny to me. That's horrifying. He's yeah. fucking scary in that movie. It's very overlooked. That, that, well, that I wasn't expecting you to pick that for your number one. No, wow, that's cool. But I wasn't expect. I really wasn't expecting your number five either. All right, that's it. You know, that's our top five uh, looks of Jason. Tell us in the comments below how wrong we are, and uh, we'll tell you to shut up. (laughs) See you in the next one.